so my name is James Sabiarimana. I'm a uh, faculty at McCourt uh, School of Public Policy. Uh, I am one of about 20 members of uh, GUIDE. Uh, had, I had a slightly different color scheme, but I guess uh, you know didn't, didn't work with Ma with Maeve. Uh, so 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 let me let me let me explain what G U I squared D E stands for. It's the Georgetown University Initiative on Innovation, Development, and uh, Evaluation. Uh, we are largely social scientists, like uh, Natasha. So to to Nerat's point, we're in the room um, and. Uh, the work we do in global health spans, uh, I guess, kind of a wide arc. There are three groups, and the first thing, that, uh, one of the things that we work on is to identify low-cost solutions uh, to uh, global health challenges. And, and we use a set of tools that are familiar to, uh, to, to us as social scientists, so, so varying prices, information, social norms, uh, uh, to change the behavior of beneficiaries, providers, and, uh, and, and other actors. Uh, and, and so that's kind of the first uh, bucket. The second is measurement. Uh, I think we spend uh, a lot of time trying to understand who provides medical uh, services, because in some ways these are really important actors who mediate a lot of the amazing technologies and protocols uh, that are developed. Uh, and, and ultimately, what do they know and what they do? Uh, and the, well, this is not working as well as I wanted, but uh, let, let, let's, let's just put everything up on the, uh, on the slide and then I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain this. Uh, and of course, the, the last thing is in some ways we work to try and get uh, the solutions that we develop uh, to go to scale. And so we're really interested in identifying opportunities and impediments uh, to uh, taking uh, successful solutions to scale. Um, you know, one of the things that we do at Georgetown, I think we try and exploit the uh, amazing scholarship that we have here. And so we exploit some world leading uh, scholars in things like digital finance and try to connect that with how do you get mothers in rural Western Kenya who live quite far away from facilities but have access to cell phones. How do you get them to actually sort of deliver their babies uh, in hospitals? Um, and, and we're really pleased to welcome uh, Dr. Jishnu Das uh, from, from the World Bank, who's, uh, who's done some really important work in the measurement uh, and quality of medical services around the world. Um, and in particular, you know, one of the things that Jishnu has been working on is uh, understanding what phys physicians in, uh, in a lot of these contexts do. Uh, and using that information, uh, he, he can say a lot more about what he does, but using that information to design interventions to improve uh, the treatment and management of certain illnesses. Uh, and so right up here, I have uh, a, a slide on uh, that, you know, I guess a little uh, <laughs> picture that suggests, you know, Jishnu has been doing some work in India uh, where he's been working with a wide range of non-informal health providers. So these are mostly actors who work in the private sector who have very little uh, medical training uh, and getting them up to speed to essentially improve the management of tuberculosis. And his work has actually led to the Indian government you know, uh, more or less uh, uh, formalizing uh, quacks, is something that uh, wasn't done before, but they're, they're essentially kind of in, in a lot of places. Uh, and as we were in, in, in between in the coffee break, Jishin said he's been doing some work in Kenya where he's randomized the law. Uh, but ultimately, you know, one of the things that happens when physicians don't do what they're supposed to do is in fact uh, that people, you know, they, they, uh, they, they misdiagnose and carry and, 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 and make uh, faulty prescriptions but in fact, we have legal means to and, 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 and regulation to try and actually sort of improve their practices. And he's been working in about a thousand facilities, uh, you know, half of which I essentially kind of assigned to, in some ways, uh, you know, have uh, much more strict enforcement of the law. Uh, and he discovers that in fact, when you know clinicians are found to be making mistakes and they can be shut down, that in fact you can actually sort of improve uh, the quality of medical services available to uh, to uh, to the population. And then finally, uh, you know, we, we work with, we also have a, a wide range of political scientists and we, uh, and so Professor Nuruddin has been doing some work in, in Bihar where we try and understand how political markets and bureaucratic incentives shape health systems. Mm -hmm. and, and ultimately, in some ways, the question ultimately is to say, understand sort of what are the priorities in these health systems and how can we actually sort of uh, work with, uh, in, in those contexts to improve and scale uh, important solutions. Thank you very much.